Alright, uh, Shalom. Before I start, I'm give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak Kurash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, uh, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim, Wa, Akwatim, learning and teaching in truth and sincerity. This is going to be another video uh, through the Spirit. And this is the one that <laughs> I've had in the, in, the, in the barrel, in the chamber, for a minute now. Uh, I got this play playlist up on my channel called Examples of Esau's Cruelty. And if I had actually made this playlist the day I should have made it, instead of it only having 33 videos, I would probably have at least 250. All right, because, you know, whenever I'm on YouTube scrolling through my uh, <clears throat> home and channel and whatnot, you know, basically police uh, videos will pop up basically surrounding... Uh, the phenomenon. <laughs> Slack, give me one second. I'm trying to plug this other phone in. God damn it. Uh, videos will pop up dealing with uh, what people call so called police, uh, police brutality. Alright? The fact that Esau Edom, uh, the so called white man, he. Hey, look, I'm going to try to. Uh, I got a couple scriptures here. I'm going to try to keep from ranting too much in this video. But basically, we're completely underneath these devil's uh, feet. All right, I'm going to be letting... Uh, the majority of this video is just going to consist of me letting certain news clips uh, play. Esau, hey, he's that... He's the... He's been given uh, allowance to take peace from the earth. All right, he is the, the demon and the plague... Uh, of this planet, and one of the ways that he does so is by using his so-called uh, police force. All right, he loves using his uh, centurions, just like in ancient Rome, to cause nothing but uh, distress among the average person's uh, life. You know, so hey, before I even get this started, hey, when you wake up in the morning, before you leave out the house, if you just you always pray to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai for safety and guidance for yourself, all right, for your woman if you have one, for your children if you have them, all right, because at any time these devils, they have the power to take your life and they can completely lie and flip the script. They can plant drugs on you, all right, they can say you, <laughs> they can say, uh, you did something, all right, you can be deaf and blind and they can come beat you and kill you and still figure out how to get off. They've been given complete power and so when Yahweh Shai returns, it's going to make it so great that he's going to strip them of that power all right so let's get into uh, i'm gonna show you some of these you know examples you know hey esau he's been the man of sin is being revealed it's being shown that he is the devil in the earth all right in these videos here on youtube the soul the hundreds of millions of thousands of videos dealing with so-called police brutality and all the unjust laws uh in america you know is proof of that all right so let's get this one, this is from this channel called Master's Report. He basically covers all types of uh, police brutality videos, you know, stuff like that. Let me see where I want to start this clip from. If it's not harming anybody. Okay. Let me see. That's him talking over. I'm going to just let this clip play. Now, this is one of them. Let this play. Bolden, she believes she was set up, Lewis. Lisa set up by an ex-boyfriend. 49-year-old Bobby Sapp is a registered nurse and has no criminal past. That incident was two years ago. And next month, she goes on trial for attempted murder of a law enforcement officer. Because during that well-being check, police said she pulled a gun on them. Tonight, she says a well-being check was used as a tool to get police to her home. And now she is facing life in prison because of it. He used this wellness check as a way to get me, uh, to put me in harm's way and to get me out of my house. It was 8 o'clock on a Sunday morning in September of 2017. While Bobby Sapp was fast asleep in the Winter Park home she rented, 911 is on, it's recorded. She says her ex-boyfriend was calling Winter Park Police. Uh, I'm not too sure what I need. Uh, my girlfriend was threatening suicide last night. Uh, I just came to the house and... Trying to get in. It was a five minute, 34 second call. Does so uh, she have a gun? Uh, she is very well armed. That Sap says changed her life. She threatened suicide by cop before. I was asleep in my bed. I was not um, at all 
uh, contemplating a suicide or suicide by cop. When police arrived. So just to catch you guys up, basically this man and this woman, they broke up. Uh, to give you the actual story, the man was, basically he wanted to get revenge. So he lied and called the police and said she was uh, suicidal and that she had a whole bunch of guns. So the police went to her home. Sam's ex showed them how to enter the house. There's one way into the house, but she was called through a window, and I'm, I don't want to do that. At this point, I want somebody here with me. Why would he not want to do that? Because in and used a clothes hanger to unlock the back door, according to police. Meanwhile, the lead officer was still getting information from Sam's ex. I'm asking if there's any weapons in the house. He tells me. There's enough weapons in the house to start a revolution. <laughs> oh my God! Did he say anything more to like put fear on oh, part of that feminizing? Suicide by cop before. Veteran officer Jeff Markham describes in an interview with the Florida Department of Law Enforcement what happened next. We're yelling at her to, you know, let us see your hands. Let us see your hands. I didn't have my glasses on. Okay, well, yeah, she's gonna speak for herself. So I'll, yeah. I'm legally blind, so I, I didn't, I couldn't identify anybody. They. uh the covers off of me at that point where she pulled the so uh basically the police broke into her house now if she's actually illegally blind uh we don't know but imagine you know put yourself in the situation this whatsoever hour of the day you asleep and the sheets get ripped off of you and you got three four five people standing in front of you <laughs> in your house uh you know let's let's get the benefit of the doubt maybe you have bad vision I got shitty vision, all right, and you don't know what's going on. So what do you think she went to do? Cover. Miss Sapp immediately came up with a handgun and pointed it right at us. Sapp admits she slept with two guns, saying <laughs> she and her ex had been in a fight the night before, and she feared it was him coming back to the house. She says she had taken a sleeping pill the night before, but did not point a gun at the officers. Then I remember getting tased. Markham said when Sapp wouldn't comply, one officer tased her. She still pointed the gun at us. It comes back toward me, then it goes back towards Lieutenant Bologna and Officer Eller, and I, I fired around. And you hmm. know... Tom, so basically right there, just off that situation, the police uh, broke into her house off a janky tip from her ex-boyfriend uh, under a so-called wellness check. And, you know, uh, of course she's going to be surprised and shocked. So she goes and reaches in which any, if some random person, you woke up and some random fool was in your house. In most cases, you're going to go to defend yourself. All right. And she, you know, whether she could now, if she realized they was police, she should just deal with what they said. But, you know, hey, I, I can understand the situation. A bunch of random motherfuckers in your house. You just woke up. You, he, <laughs> she went for that thing, uh, got tased and shot at and now she's being uh potentially uh facing life in prison all right hey and this is the this is this is the game that esau likes to play you know hey he has complete power and reign and you could you could put anyone else in that situation and more than likely you know a lot of people would uh did the same thing you know it just shows you hey these devils don't they don't care all right they they Make the laws and they break the laws. <laughs> a matter of fact, let me pause this and I got a scripture. I was at work today, man. I was doing one of my deliveries. And I, that out and I put a curse on this motherfucker. Introducing Where's the damn skip at? I fucking hate this computer. A new scientific breakthrough. The ABC so lucky, muscle building system this. from Primal Muscle. There we go. Engin All right, let me pause it. So basically, I was driving get the scripture loaded and i seen a police officer you know it's a red light he pull up on it. everybody stop at the red light like normal human beings and this asshole just goes through it you know he just completely now if i'd have did that you know he'd have whoop, 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 all that and i'd have been looking at a several hundred dollar ticket but these assholes make their <laughs> make their own laws and break their own laws all right let me get this Proverbs chapter 12, uh, verse 10. It says, A righteous man regardeth the life of his beast, but the tender mercies of the wicked are, uh, are cruel. All right, And I'm appointing this at Esau, Edom. They don't have any mercy. All right, There's so many... Oh, I don't actually have the time in the day. This video would be three hours long. If I went through my history and just showed you all the different things. You had police 
they'll uh, raid incorrect houses and they'll actually kill people. There was one incident in which an uh, officer, and this is on Daily Mail, basically they had uh, raided, I believe they raided the wrong home, they threw a flashbang in through the window, it exploded and melted, it landed in a baby's crib and melted off half of the baby's face. All right, that's how Esau uh, gets down. All right, and if I remember correctly, nothing really happened to the officer. All right, so let me get this next one. Let me see if I can jump uh, fast forward a little bit. So basically, this right here, this is a Jake. It says, deaf, black, and a victim of police brutality. He's an Israelite. He can't uh, hear. And the police <laughs> automatically, you know, they, they incorrectly picked him. They thought he was the guy for some sort of something. And they ran up on him tough. And what do you think happened to him? He can't hear. <laughs> okay, let me skip forward. So, so basically, uh, <laughs> he's gonna go on to explain it. They stopped him, and they went and got to beating his ass. He can't hear, uh, and he's gonna explain it. But I'll sum it up. He went to grab his cards, showing that he's deaf, that he can't hear, that he needs uh, basically a sign language person there to communicate. And they yanked, they yanked him up out the car and got to beating the holy heebie-jeebies out of him. And you're going to see the result of his, of his face. And this dude, it just said he was 64 years old. All right, and like the scripture says, and the curses, they weren't going to have mercy on the old or the young. These devils don't care. They will completely destroy you, which is why we can, we need Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai's safety at all times. It don't matter how much you bench pressing, how much you squatting. It don't matter how many years of... Uh, jiu-jitsu or kickboxing or goddamn freestyle you have under you these devils have the power and authority to take our life at any time so we need the lord to come save us all right so they when hey, if you ever you know you get pulled over police run up on you you just you just have to comply you know and even if you do comply they still might uh <laughs> make you eat dirt but <laughs> you know hey the lord he don't let us get you know put in them horrific situations like that you know, but hey, just, just comply. I can. <laughs> Shit, man. My brain was damaged from all of the blows. Um, I had been hit, and I almost blacked out. My eyes were damaged. It was difficult for me to breathe. You know, I was trying to tell them to stop. I, I was choked up. I couldn't breathe. <laughs> I, had, I was dizzy. He's 64 years old, man. That'd that that kill him. Happening. But Jake, uh, Jake is strong as hell. I'm surprised he ain't died. Make it stop. Look at him. Lumped up, man. Now let me jump forward. Before that, I had gone to a deaf cop. To where they actually get the uh, footage of him getting beat and dragged out and whatnot. Here we go. Putting the beats on him. Oh, another thing, and this goes into some real quick. This right here is not his wife. This is his daughter. Uh, that man's an Israelite. He had uh, two daughters with a, a so-called uh, white woman, an Edomite. This is one of his daughters right here. Uh, for you uh, crack babies that don't understand Israelite foreigners. That moment, before he even got out of the vehicle, his right arm is completely out of sight. And, uh, and if you don't believe me, <laughs> go type this video in and watch the first minute. Uh, you'll see the proof that that's his daughter. All right, anyway. So they finally got the door open and got the seatbelt off and pulled me out onto the ground and then were beating me. And the police say that it was seven minutes but it really felt more like 10 or 15. <laughs> uh, so in 15 minutes, that's three uh, MMA rounds. Three five-minute uh, full rounds of getting your ass whooped. And that's what Esau loves to do. Why? Because of this right here. Another scripture form. All right. 
hey, Esau is uh, if he can, it makes his day to destroy, especially them police officers. Give them a reason. They want to uh, have a story to tell their children when they come home. They want to have a an incident to brag about at the station. Yeah, I got me one today. You know, Revelation six and four. It says, and there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth that they should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword. All right, linking that back to the blessing with Esau. All right, he was blessed with the sword. All right, his weaponry, which he uses to dominate the planet Earth uh, since then and to this very day. All right, that's why they had no issues with beating this deaf man, because had it got out of hand, they'd have just pulled their things out and got to working them. All right, let me click on another one. I got a couple more. Man, this shit's cr Hey, look, Akim. Hey, look. I'm actually not as angry uh, doing Don't this video gentlemen. It's beautiful uh, as I thought I was going to be. Let me come up some more. Another trailer. I'm about to start knocking the volume on them so they don't uh, now, imagine you're tear the video down. But, you know, there's so many of these videos. Uh, like, sometimes... I'll be watching them through the day, and I'll have to stop. I have to take a break. You know, I I, I just <laughs> compile it, you know, for evidence against against these devils, man. This is all ever this whole playlist, and the angels already see everything. All right, this was at Sirach, uh, nineteen, uh, twenty three and nineteen. All right, the eyes of the heavenly Father are ten thousand times uh, brighter than the sun. All right, hey Esau, this is shameful spewing unto you. The fact that all these different cases exist. All right, because it like, uh, hey, it'll get to a certain point in the day. You know, if I see uh, too many of these, I have to stop. You know, I just won't watch them for the rest of the day. I want to go crawl into the fetal position and just leave the planet. You know, because this shit uh, is, hey, these devils are uh, wicked and they get away with so much wickedness. But they're not going to continue to get away with it forever. All right, I'm going to let this one, uh, it's five minutes. Let me see. I might fast forward some. Let this play. Go shot through a window. Brandon Watson claims he was protecting. So his basically, his a man was at his house, and out of nowhere, a bullet rang through his house. So what did he go to do? <clears throat> his wife heard noises in the backyard. She said, "Oh my gosh, somebody's in our backyard." Noises getting closer. She heard. So they were coming in the back door. Yeah. We ran upstairs very quickly. <laughs> Jake need to get that thing out of his right head. Here. Watson says That's he a couldn't nasty have yet. <laughs> This nigga got so weed sewn into his head. With my on, and I post right here. I announced myself. I said, who is that? Who is that? I have a gun. And as soon as I said that, two red laser beams, a couple red laser beams was on my chest. Mm. A gun laser sight aiming where a shot would hit. So I looked at the red laser beams on my chest and I fired a, a warning shot. He ran to get help from a state police neighbor across the street. I said, whoa. I said, I, well, just like that, I said, whoa, they said, who shot the shot? I said, I did, I have a gun in my hand. They said, put the gun down. This is Watson's handgun. He immediately dropped. Hey, and the and Lord, hey, he got stunning. hey, he got lucky that he, they didn't just put him down and shred the whole house. Because normally Esau, you open your door with a gun, they shredding you. But just to show you, let me keep, let me keep playing, yes. man. We just got news that you shot at an officer. I said, officer? I said, it, no, nobody came to my door. What you mean, officer? It, nobody, you know, I didn't know with no officers. The dark figures in the backyard were Portsmouth police officers who did not announce themselves. As far as the officer's response, I support their response 100%. Portsmouth police chief Ed Hargis <laughs> claims his men never heard Watson. Asshole. Anytime a police officer hears that there's a, a firearm involved, they start giving verbal commands. They start yelling police. It came out in court police were in the wrong backyard. They were supposed to be in Patricia Brooks' yard, who lives next door to Watson. She had called 911 because she heard unrelated noises downstairs. So long story short, these idiots, because Esau's a fucking idiot, go to the wrong house. And that man, you know, he's thinking he's about to protect his family. He ends up letting off at an officer. So he had to go through, uh, he had to go through the courts for, I believe, 10 months. Uh, I'm gonna go to the next video, but he got drugged through the courts for ten months. He wasn't able to work, you know. He wasn't able to support his family, and eventually, uh, the charges ended up getting dropped. The jury decided, you know, since he only let off one shot, he wasn't being excessive. You know, he was trying to protect himself and his family, you know. But this is how Esau can do you. This is how, hey, Esau can make your life live in hell. Why? Because it's been given to him to take peace 
from the earth. He's that red horse. All right. Esau is Edom, like it tells you in uh, Genesis. All right. They're devils. They're bastards. God damn it. Let me click the next one. Hey, man, I can do this shit for the next three hours, man. Just different little incidences. This is absolutely ridiculous. All right. Hey, and you know what? This is why we have to come back to the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Had we did what we were supposed to as a nation, we never would have had to fall into this shit. This is what happens when you sin against the Lord. Now we're in a situation in which we're under, uh, matter of fact, let me get it real quick. Now we're under these devils. Let me get this real quick. These devils is beating our heads in, man. You can't even... Really, the only you're not even allowed to be the man of your house. The man of your house is whatever police officer is closest. If he get a phone call to come over, all right, and we can't do anything about it. That's why our faith has to be strong. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, hey, and if we're of that number, then we'll be saved and we'll be able to uh, avenge ourselves, all right. But as of right now, hey, we're sheep, we're lambs. Bah, you know, we can, we not, we not roaring and <laughs> kicking shit over and ducking and dodging bullets. You go swing on an officer, that'll be the last thing you do. All right. <laughs> Isaiah chapter 10. And, you know, and that's why here at Great Millstone, we were going, we were so adamant towards those people. And I had a dream about it too. Uh, you know, I did the video on it, but we were so adamant towards Israelites pushing that militaristic type aura. All right. Esau will, will mangle you niggas. Esau will will do do you greasy the apostles have told the story of you know them being raided when they were at the old school the uh one west and the police ran up in there there was nothing they could do and then i and i remember uh <laughs> tazadaki that's why he's in jail he's such a fucking liar uh he would uh i there was the incident in which he was getting arrested and he you know some of his uh the people that left him icgjc that group of people uh that left him one of them was giving the testimony of how uh, he was saying that he had to tell all of his men to stand down and allow the police to arrest him because all his men was bodyguarding and pushing the police back. Man, they would have... <laughs> hey, I, hey, I, hey, he was... Tazadaki be lying his ass. All them police would have let them shits rip on all you st <laughs> stupid, big, fat, eating ass niggas, man. Isaiah 10 and 5, it says, Oh, Assyrian... The rod of mine anger and the staff in their hand is, uh, and the staff in their hand is mine indignation. All right, so these devils, and now this is dealing with Esau, Edom today. All right, they're the rod in the hand of the Lord. All right, and He's using them to beat us to keep us in line. But here soon, He's about to break that rod and discard it. All right, so until further notice, <clears throat> we're still under these assholes. Let me let this one play. the city of Dallas and three police officers pulled him over and arrested him. The city admits the officers broke the rules and offered a settlement, but Sherrod Taylor calls that an insult. And today he talked with Fox 4's Sean Rabb and described the dash cam video you're about to see. This is a story you'll see only on Fox 4. What were you thinking now as he was pulling you over? I had no idea why he was pulling me over at this time. Sherrod Taylor talks about October 16th, two years ago, when he was pulled over by Dallas police, 10 o'clock at night, in Oak Cliff. The music Oak Cliff? From the squad car. <laughs> That's a... <laughs> for brothers that know anything <laughs> about Texas, Oak Cliff ain't where you want to be. <laughs> oh, shit. Officer Ricardo Salas approaches the driver's side, Jesse Aquino on the passenger door. Salas speaks first. You can't hear him because the officers have turned their microphones off. Mm. More on why that's significant in a moment. Sticking his nose inside the car and kind of looking, and he's asking where the drugs are, specifically where the drugs are. <laughs> and I'm at, I'm telling him that um, I don't have any drugs. I didn't know what he was talking about. It was almost as if it was a joke of some sort. <laughs> but this was no joke. After I gave my license, he asked me, he asked me what I, what do I do? And I told him I'm a um, truck driver, and it's there listed on my CHL. Yes. And that's when he. He looked at it and he was just like, where are the drugs? That's when Taylor gave Solace his concealed handgun license. And when he says, Aquino piped up. Well, reach for MF. Mm. Reach for MF. And I'm like, reach for what? This was only after I gave him my license. And he knew that I had a weapon in the car, in, in my vehicle. 
So you see that? So Esau wanted to kill him. Jake was, hey, it's to the point now, comply and die. <laughs> you can still comply with Esau, Edom, and they'll still take you off the map. So like I say, the elder uh, apostle Rakar pushes it heavy, uh, heavily, pray. Hey, you got to be, hey, look, when I be doing, hey, every time I fire up my truck for my deliveries for work, bro, I be praying. You don't know if you're going to make it back. Not even just off of Esau. Anything could happen. This world is ridiculous out here. He was complying. He wasn't arguing. He handed it over his stuff. You know, Jake, what you want, nigga? Stop it. Leave me alone. He wasn't doing none of that. He handed over his stuff. He was like, look, officer, I even have a concealed uh, weapon. You know, it's everything's, you know, it's on my license. You know, I'm a truck driver. I'm not doing no drugs. The officer said, reach for it, motherfucker. Why? So he could have an excuse to kill him. Because that's what they want to do to us. Because they know they can get away with it. Who, who's... <clears throat> Let me get uh I'll let this finish and I get the scripture. Ask him to step out of the vehicle. He does and is taken to the front of the squad car where Aquino asked to search his vehicle. I refused to allow him to search and he was saying things like, Well, I'll just take you to jail so I can search your car anyway. That's what happened. His car torn apart on the side of the road while he goes to jail for the charge of unlawfully carrying a weapon. Mm. We've never been to jail. Horrible experience. Never forget it. <laughs> I will never forget it. Or the rough ride to jail. These guys were running red lights. They were flying. <laughs> a rough ride, exactly. They were right. pretty much acting, acting like, as, as I stated in my report, like niggas. Two wild fraternity kids. They was acting like niggas. niggas. That's what we wanted to say. Sustained allegations of false arrest, false imprisonment, falsifying police reports. And remember those turned off mics? And so basically, uh, he got off free. You know, because, you know, the police, they were they were doing too dirty now. They didn't even try to cover it up. Uh, so, you know, everything ended up getting dropped against them. And I'll just state this real quick. There's two laws um, in the United States uh, Penal Code. What is it? Uh, John Bad Elk versus United States and Plumber versus State. Basically, it's two laws stating that uh, you can uh, resist. Now, I, I, I'm not telling y'all to do this. I'm just telling y'all that these laws do exist. Uh, I was digging around and they happened to come up. You can uh, resist an unlawful arrest uh, and a regular citizen can help you uh, even to the point of deadly force uh, unto the officer. Now, I'm not telling you all to do that, uh, but if you look it up, there's been a couple people that actually uh, won, <clears throat> uh, you know, charges uh, off, off that. You know, the police was coming at them and they felt that they was like, I don't think this is a lawful arrest, so they resisted. That's actually why those two the one John Bad Elk, he actually killed a police officer because he the officer was he was like he knew the officer was uh, about to try to brutalize him uh, over nothing, so he put him to death. All right, and you know, hey, we don't have that ability and that power, but it shows you if those two laws exist, it shows you that there's a flaw in this system because Esau Edom, these and it'd be Jake too. You have a, a spick and a or a Negro. These niggas is two officers, a short little spick and a fat tall Negro. Out there fucking they people up. Why? Because Esau has given them the power with their suit. And even though they have that power, you have the fellow Edomites in there uh at their on the force with them treating them like shit. So they come out and treat us like shit. Alright? But if these two laws can exist that you can resist them if it's an unlawful arrest, and that shows you that they're out here unlawfully arresting, ticketing, and treating people like shit. Alright, and which is why we in the nation of Israel, we have to be governed by the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. We don't got no daggone police force when you read through the law. What do we have? The priest and the elders of the city, uh, and basically, yeah, the elders of the city and the Levitical priesthood that would execute the laws. And then, you know, basically each and every single Israelite. If a man and a woman was, let's say, found committing adultery, then the police didn't show up and take care of that. That The families would take care of that, all right? Or the man you know, who was involved, all right, if somebody killed somebody, we didn't go pick up 911 uh, Israelite police, uh, hello, how, hey, we're not going to be out of this until the Heavenly Father, through His Son, reestablishes us, all right, we have the proper way to rule uh, in this world, that's why these devils, the earth is crumbling underneath them, obviously, this system of law giving and, and running the show isn't working, it's too, it's too corrupt, all right, so now I'm going to jump to this clip. They put the beats on this jig. They tased him three times. Hey, now, and once again, you can comply and still get your head beat in. All right, so to just to catch 
to catch it up. Uh, this Jake, he was literally he literally wasn't doing. He got off on this one because the police did him wrong in this case as well. He wasn't really doing anything. He was just in the parking lot type area. They went up to him. They was like, "Oh, where are the drugs at? Where are the guns at?" And he's like, "What?" And they they put the beats on. Him. All right. Matter of fact, let me get uh this real quick before I start it. Hey man, this Sirach chapter nine verse uh thirteen. It says. Keep thee far from the man that hath power to kill. So shalt thou not doubt the fear of death. Hey, so don't even... There, okay, that works. It zoomed in. Except doubt the fear of death, con. And if thou come unto him, make no fault. Least he take away thy life presently. So don't make a fault. All right, me personally, hey, look. Akim, if you get stopped, you know, if you're fast enough or if you can do it without looking too suspicious, you know, get, have your license out But me... I don't fucking move. I put the window down. I keep my hands on the wheel. Uh, you know, hey, sir, how's it going? You having a good day? Am I allowed to uh, grab my license and registration? It's on my uh, my back left pocket. I'm going to take my left hand and I'll show it to him. I'm going to reach down and I'm going to grab it. You know, hey, you got to do the whole, <laughs> yes, I'm balsam, you know, because if you make one slip, these bastards will kill you. All right. This is what they love to do. So we can't... Hey, don't even entertain that lifestyle. Anything that can <clears throat> cause you to be seen like that, don't even entertain that. That gang, Don't don't be in that gang-banging lifestyle that... Hey, stay on the straight and narrow. Stay in these scriptures. You know, go to work. Go to the gym. Go get you some food. Come home. Take your dad. Take your... <laughs> every so often, take your family somewhere. Don't even do things that require you to even have to come into contact with these assholes as much, because they will take you out of the frame. If they if they if if they get that itching, you gonna get the licking. All right. It says, "Remember that thou goest in the midst of snares, and that thou walkest upon the battlements of the sea." So we're literally in a big battlefield. This is a big war zone. America is a big concentration camp, and we're in the smack dad middle of this bitch. All right. So we have to move carefully. All right, as wise. As serpents and as harmless uh, as doves. All right, literally. All right. Let me just hit play on this one. So basically, they get they get to questioning them and talking to them. And honestly, you know what? Y'all haven't seen the full video, but this Jake wasn't resisting or like he wasn't cursing back at him. He wasn't. He, they asked him to search the car. He gave him permission, which legally you don't have to do, uh, according to the law, actually. But when you don't, then that's when they're going to try to beat your head in, usually. But, you know, he wasn't cursing. He wasn't. He kept his hands visible. He wasn't acting crazy. But watch how they're going to do him. You know, they don't give a shit. Checking it out, man. He gave, he gave his consent to search. Warrants, right? No, but hey, you said, oh, this is consensual. You're staying here. He gave his consent to search. 